Wakey wakey cancers rise and shine. Welcome back to Baby Boss Tarot. Let's get into your love reading for the next week. So cancer. Cancer's love for the next week. Okay. You have deception in the reverse. Somebody's true colours come out. Whatever was being deceptive or whoever was being deceptive, um, the truth of that is coming out this week. You got um, let go of control issues is in the reverse. So somebody is is still far too controlling in a relationship. Another reversal. It, um, in the upright it says it is safe for you to love. It is not safe for you to love this person. Or it's not safe for somebody to love you because some sort of deception has come to the light. And then we've got calling in your soulmate. Sorry, it's not calling in your soulmate. You might be calling in a soulmate after this deception comes out. But you've got to give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's the only upright we've got here, Cancer. So let's see, who is this deceptive person? Is it you or is it the other person? Clarify deception. Who is it, Cancer or their person? It's a bit dark in here. Let me just go put the light on. I know it's 6 o'clock in the morning, but it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Now the light may interfere with the video, so we'll oh, see. Okay, so the deceptive person, Cancer, is it you or is it them? Could be a Scorpio, it doesn't have to be, but yes, yeah, someone is a someone is in regret because of some sort of um, deception here. Yeah, somebody felt backed into a corner, trapped and bound. Could be a Gemini, yeah. There could be a Leo in your energy who's um standing their ground they've got their guards up against you so it could be that somebody it's not you cancer um whoever was being deceptive you found out about it and this person they're quite guarded it's like they're not going to tell you about it yeah somebody here just wanted to be single yeah Somebody here is getting ghosted and blocked it and remaining single from the situation after this deception comes out. We need to find out what is the deception though. Let's put these back. With some of you cancers, you are going to give this relationship a chance. Uh, because you're in love with this person. Alright, what was the deception? What was the deception? Ooh. Oh my god, yeah. The Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Somebody was definitely being deceptive. Someone was being sneaky. They lied. They cheated. This was the ultimate betrayal here. You may have found out um, that they were giving their love to someone else. They were stalking and spying someone else. You've been waiting a while for this information to come out. And I think you're getting it this week, Cancer. Heavy on the air energy. Gemini, Aquarius. And we've also got Pisces. Maybe a Pisces is involved. Whatever this is, whatever the deception that is going to come out this week, uh, I don't think you're going to be happy about it. Somebody did cheat. I just heard that. But let's just clarify. The two worst cards of the deck here. They're the two worst cards for lies, deception, for cheating. Let's just clarify this for Cancer. Clarify the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords for the deception. Yeah, there, were, there was definitely cheating, I am sorry to say. Um, somebody, The person you were dealing with, they could have cheated on you with an Aries, somebody who is a boss, someone who is structured. They could have owned their own business. Okay, this person could be intuitive. The third party is intuitive. Could be another cancer, doesn't have to be, but definitely somebody cheated on you. They made a choice based on sincere feelings and they went towards an Aries or another cancer. Definitely third party here. Who they were spying on, or you were spying on. Yeah, they did. They offered a cup of love to someone else. Okay, right. How do you feel about your person? How do you feel about your person this week? How are you going to feel about your person this week? You feel like it's unrequited love now. Yeah. You don't know. It's like... Queen of Swords in the upright. It's like you want to cut this person off because of the deception, because of the cheating. But because your Queen of Swords energy is crossing energy, you also want to give them a chance. But you know this is 
unrequited love between you and this person. You know that they've got poor personal boundaries. Like, if there was a new shiny thing that was, like, right in front of their face, they took it, they went for it. I've just heard they fly by the, by the seat of their pants. But you're refusing to compromise or give in with this person. You're being quite stubborn towards them. Or you feel like they're being stubborn towards you, quite rigid. Um, why are the Nine of Wands in the reverse for how you feel about them? Yeah, because the truth and clarity came out. The confession. Which you intuitively knew about. Yeah, you intuitively know that they're still hiding stuff from you, but they're not going to tell you it. Who are you dealing with? Yeah, the devil energy. Look at that. Could be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. They were hiding toxic ways from you. They could have been a drinker, drug taker, definitely cheating. They were having sexual adventures. Right, what is your action towards this person this week? Your action towards this person. Again, you don't know whether to end it or to work on it with the death crossing energy. You do know the grass is greener on the other side though. Now you want a second chance with this person even though they've done you dirty but each to themselves you have free will cancer. Love is love, you can't help who you're in love with. But you know the saying, once a cheat, always a cheat. And cancers, you've got such loving energy and when you fall in love with someone, you love with all your heart. It actually takes you a long time to actually let anybody in into your little circle, in your little bubble. But when you do, you can fall in love so hard. That's why you want to give them a second chance here. But I know what you're asking. Will they do it again? Will they cheat on you again, Cancer? Will they cheat on you again? Will this person cheat on you again? They are going to leave you out in the cold again. They're going to leave you holding the bag. You're the breadwinner here. Yes. Look. Look. The biggest yes card of the deck, yes, they are going to cheat on you again in your marriage, in your commitment, or they're going to go off and run off and get engaged to somebody else. Heavy on the Leo energy here. Two Leo cards, they have to be in the spotlight. Okay, they like all eyes on them. They like the attention others give them. Yes, they are going to cheat on you again. And with the two of, two of wands, that's major cheating. If you are engaged to them, I'm sorry to say, they are going to cheat on you again. Right. How do they feel about you right now? Cancer, how does this person feel about you? They feel like you're going to do the same thing to them. They feel like you're going to do a tit for tat and cheat on them. They think you're going to be hiding secrets from them now that you're going to be a little bit um, obsessive. A little bit toxic towards them now. Why the devil? Yeah, they know your guard is going to be up. Yeah. They know that you're going to be wounded and you're going to obsess over what they have done. It's like, you're not going to let them live it down. You're going to constantly throw it in their face. They intuitively know you're going to do that. You're going to keep throwing that truth back in their face. What is their action towards you? But this cheetah's action towards you, Cancer, in this next week. The cheetah's action towards you. They want to work in it as well. They want a happy family with you. You two could have a blended family. They would do want to work on it. Their action towards you. Mm, we got the tower. And the six of swords. Let me just clarify the chat, the tower before I hear this. <clears throat> clarify the tower for their action towards cancer. Yeah, that's exactly what I heard. They're going to say to you, come on babe, we can work on this, we can work through this, I promise you I'll never do it again. But their action towards you is to bring you in tower, they're going to do it again, look, with the three of swords. They're going to juggle you with somebody else. And then they're going to try and move on to karma waters as if nothing happens. Is there anything else um, for cancer on this one, big brother? Just, okay. What else does cancer need to know 
about their person this week. What else do you need to know? Alright, they're not going to go out and party. Alright. Sorry. Thought that said party. Um, that's divine timing, believing the right time. No, now is not the right time. No, it's time to heal and release this. Read between the lines. Um, you will be getting a call from them. Expect to hear from them soon. Yeah, there's, there's friends around them. There's influences around them, possibly telling them you've got to make it right with cancer. But they're still not showing their true self. They're still wearing a mask with you. I've just heard, what are they doing behind my back at the moment? All right. What is your person doing behind your back at the moment? What are they doing behind your back at the moment? Uh, relationship connecting, marriage, sacred union. They could be marrying somebody else who they have strong love for. Person who they're dealing with, they're, they're single, they're not in a relationship. Or they're acting single. Yeah, they're going out, they're dating behind your back. They've met, met someone new who they want to be married to. Yeah, they're working on their inner growth. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't see you as a soulmate. If you're worrying if they're, if they're going back to an ex-lover, they're not. Ex-lovers in the reverse. They're, they've met someone new. They're not heartbroken. They're not shattered about the situation with you. Intuition, inner knowing, yeah. They know they know what they're doing and they know what they need to do. They need to actually end it with you because what they're doing behind your back is that they're acting single. They are in love with someone else. They are dating someone new behind your back. And this could end up going into a, in, into a marriage, into a sacred union. Okay, so that's your reading, Cancer. Sorry. <clears throat> 